what's going on everyone? It's me, Marco from PhoneDog.com and welcome to day 16 of the Google Glass Challenge. Now I said in the beginning that we're probably going to go over for 30 days in the challenge and that's just because we have a lot of devices coming into the PhoneDog offices because it's almost our busy season of the year. Mobile World Congress is just around the corner so we have a lot of devices and a lot of content to cover. But this is day 16 of the Google Glass Challenge. This one is all about the camera because you got to face it, this is one of the best first person view cameras for driving, for sports, for skiing. I've seen a lot of great content from Google Glass in terms of taking photos and videos. And well, you gotta face it, this is a really cool place to have a camera. Now, the also creep factor of having a camera on your face is people get creeped out like thinking like you're the NSA and you're doing all your reporting and feedback and taking photos and videos of people that don't wanna be taken photos of. Uh, and that is a lot of creep factor to it. I've you know, tried wearing this in public and people do ask me what it is but I haven't had anyone kind of look at me weird. I've had a couple people, maybe the, the older type people that really don't know what this technology is. Uh, but this is a five megapixel camera basically sitting on my face capable of taking 720p video. Now the photos aren't the best quality by any chance. It's just kind of fuzzy sometimes. It feels like a Nexus 4 camera plugged into a Google Glass. And I think that's the best way to explain it. The 720p video is also, it's not high quality at all, but uh, it's HD, it's good enough to post on YouTube, and I've had some really good videos coming out of it, just driving, walking around. Uh, the photos, I just recently came back from the Detroit Auto Show. I took a lot of photos, and the best part is, I didn't have to take my iPhone to take any photos. I just walked around and pushed this button or say, take a photo, and there you go. That took my photo. So enjoy the photos, and let's get started. Now excuse my jerky and fast motions here, but I was thinking of different ways to use Google Glass and one of the best applications is first person video. Now this is just from a upcoming review of the Mazda 3. This is the best first person video for the tech inside. It's beautiful. You know, the video is good looking. Now also, I was at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit and just taking photos here is the beautiful 918 Spider, the million dollar Porsche, uh, the Toyota FT1. Now these photos are not the best quality, but they just kind of demonstrate what you can get from a five megapixel camera. That's just basically on your face. You don't have to take out your phone to take a photo. Here's the Z06. Uh, now the colors are pretty good. The detail, it's not the best. As you can see, it's kind of fuzzy. Uh, sometimes you have things on the camera lens. Sometimes it's just not the best lighting. You know, it is a very sensitive camera. It's not the best in the low light. And here is the Tesla Model S on the inside. And again, the video is pretty good. It's kind of jerky. That's mainly because I'm kind of in a, in a rush taking photos, taking videos while people were banging at the door trying to get inside this car. Uh, but again, these are just great applications of what Google Glass can do, especially for just about anybody. Again, here's beautiful sunny Nevada. Uh, I think this is on my way to CES this year just showing off what the video can capture from Google Glass. Again, it's 720p, it's 30 frames a second. Again, it's still usable video. Now this is just one of the last videos here. It's the Subaru WRX STI Launch Edition uh, launch at the Detroit Auto Show. Just showing what the audio can capture, so I'll let you listen to that. Now the audio is not terrible. It's actually better than most in-camera audio systems, especially DSLRs. Uh, now one last photo here is the GTR. Now I kind of mistakenly put my hand in there. That's very easy to do and a lot of photos do get ruined if you push the button and the Google Glass takes an extra second to take the photo. So as I'm putting my hand back down, it catches in the photo. So as a camera product overall, I wish the execution was better, but the application is endless. I think first person video is gonna take off, especially with this wearable revolution. So anyway, make sure to check out phonedog.com and youtube.com slash phonedog. Also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash phonedog and follow me on Twitter at phonedog underscore Marco. For now, my name is Marco Hanna from phonedog.com and thanks for watching.